Hello everyone, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Megan, did you see the hailstorm last night? I did. I actually heard it before I saw it. The hailstones hitting my roof were really loud. I had never seen hail before. It looked like, like small frozen snowballs falling from the sky. My mom is sad because the hail knocked down a bunch of the plants in her garden. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jesse. Hail can be really destructive. God sent hail as one of the plagues on Egypt and it destroyed everything in their fields. What's a plague? A plague is a trouble or punishment. God sent plagues, including hail, to Egypt because Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, said he would not let God's people go. Oh, did, did the Pharaoh not know how powerful God is? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Let me tell you the story. God had a plan to rescue his people from slavery in Egypt. He told Moses and Moses' brother Aaron to talk to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. They said, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. Let my people go. But Pharaoh did not let the people go. Who is the Lord? He asked. I will not obey him. So God punished the Egyptians. First, he turned the water in the Nile River into blood. But Pharaoh did not let God's people go. So God sent frogs into Egypt. Moses said, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. God sent gnats into Egypt. Then he sent flies. Moses said, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. God caused all the livestock, animals like horses, donkeys, and sheep to die. Then God sent sore spots all over the people. But Pharaoh said, no. God sent a hailstorm. He sent locusts. Pharaoh said, go, but then he changed his mind. Then God sent darkness. Moses said, let my people go. Still, Pharaoh said, no. God told Moses, I will bring one more punishment. After that, Pharaoh will let you go. Moses warned Pharaoh, the firstborn son in every family in Egypt will die, but God's people will be safe. Pharaoh did not listen. So God told the Israelites to put the blood of a lamb on the doorposts of their houses. This would be a special mark that God would see and he would pass over the house. That night, every oldest son in Egypt died. The people cried and Pharaoh told Moses and Aaron, go. The Israelites left quickly. They took bread and animals with them. The Egyptians gave them gold, silver, and clothing. God told Moses and Aaron that he was going to bring his people to a new land. God led his people out of Egypt. The Israelites had been slaves in Egypt for a long time. They were finally free. God kept the Israelites safe from punishment when they put the blood of a lamb over their doors. Jesus is the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus was punished for sin when he died on the cross and everyone who trusts in Jesus is kept safe from the punishment for sin.